Hello and welcome to this very brief tutorial on getting the No Limits 2 support data into SketchUp. So why would you want to import the No Limits 2 support into SketchUp? Well the main reason for me is to have a location reference for where all of the supports are when you are modelling pathways, buildings and other bits of scenery surrounding the coaster. If you wanted to, you could also use the SketchUp lines to generate support beams for full models that can be used in either No Limits 2 or some of the software like Unity and Unreal Engine. To begin, navigate to the Professional tab in the No Limits 2 editor and hit the Export Support XML button. Just make sure that you have the coaster you want to export selected in the Coaster tab. Now you can open Blender and import the supports using a plugin made by Bestani, which will be linked below in the description. Once the supports have been imported, it should look something like this. The next step is to select the supports and then convert them into a mesh using the Object drop down menu. Once this is done, you are free to export them as a .dae file. Once this is done, and if all has worked correctly, then when you import the DAE file into SketchUp it should look something like this. Place the supports at the origin of your model, and if needed rotate and move them around to line up with the rest of your model. A couple of plugins that are helpful if you wish to convert these lines into pipes is the Lines to Tubes plugin as well as the Weld plugin, both of which will be linked below. Here is a short demonstration of how they work. If you want to just generate some pipes for position referencing, simply select the stanchions you want to convert into tubes, and in the Tools menu click this option here. You can set the texture, pipe size and the level of detail you want, then click OK to generate them. As you may have noticed, they are not joined up on the corners properly, and to fix this to make a more complete result, we will need to use the Weld plugin. To weld connecting lines together into one, select the consecutive lines and then go into Extensions, and then click the Weld button. This will link the lines together, and when we use the Lines to Tubes plugin this time, the joints will generate as a full pipe. Thank you for watching and I hope you find this tutorial useful.